Last year, Thailand's tourism industry welcomed nearly 11 million Chinese visitors, boosting a sluggish economy. But signs of caution were evident on the faces of some tourism workers, worried about the spread of the coronavirus. Some foreigners saw the mask and were afraid to come because they thought I was sick. But now they understand the situation. I wear a mask to protect myself, not because I'm sick. Right now, when I see a Chinese customer, I'm okay, and I don't reject them because I am providing a service. Despite the clampdown on people leaving Wuhan and neighboring Chinese cities, some airlines were still flying passengers home Monday to see their families. I will just stay home for now because it's still a critical situation out there. So I'm really worried about this problem, and so is my Despite a rising number of suspected cases, along with news that the virus can lay dormant for up to 14 days, government officials remain confident that the crisis is still under control. Right now we're at the second level of five. If there are any increases in Thailand of human-to-human -human transfer of the virus, we will bring the danger level up. Still, many of the seasoned tour guides who experienced the harsh financial effects of the 2003 SARS crisis say that safety should come before profits. The owners of the tourist company should understand the situation. If we only worry about the income of the country or businesses, or even for myself, this is not the right thing for us to be concerned about. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Steve Sanford for VOA News in Krabi, Thailand.